Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. New York Governor Kathy Hochul came to the North Country this past week to tout the newly passed state budget that she says will be good for the economy, the environment, and the North Country. Governor Hochul came to the Nova Bus Factory in Plattsburgh to tout her new budget and the boost it will provide to the North Country's transportation cluster, companies like Nova Bus, who are ready to go green. The new budget includes billions in investments in transportation and green initiatives, benefiting manufacturers like Nova Bus, who will build a new generation of electric buses. I don't know if people could have envisioned this decades ago, that this really would be the epicenter not just for our state, but truly for the nation. This is the future unfolding. The hybrid buses transitioning to all electric, and you're making it here. We're changing the future of our state and ensuring a greener environment for our children's children because of what's going on here in Plattsburgh. So, so wear that with a badge of honor. The budget includes funding for the Metropolitan Transit Authority in New York City and other transit agencies across the state to convert to electric buses in the coming years. But we wanted to make sure we put money on the table so local government, local transportation entities can have the money they need as well as our continuing to support the MTA, the largest public transit system in the world, with $1 billion so they can continue to purchase over 500 electric buses. That is the future unfolding before our eyes. Business and community leaders say the governor's investments in green initiatives will pay off for the North Country. I can confidently say that the green economy and technology is not a fad. We are living it and standing in its presence right now. It is a pillar of our economy's sustainability and opportunities for growth while improving the environment for the next generation. We said that we need support, we need understanding, we need a governor and a governor's administration that gets what we're doing up here in terms of our transportation equipment and aerospace cluster, that knows the importance of the cluster we've developed, its role in the entire green economic agenda, and is ready to help support and boost that. The new budget also provides more than $100 million to the Olympic Regional Development Authority to upgrade the Olympic sites for the upcoming 2023 World University Winter Games. That event Hochul says will benefit the entire region. It's gonna have a profound region-wide impact, not just in Lake Placid and Gore and Whiteface, but right here, the hotels and restaurants. So get ready, put a lot of chairs in your restaurants, get ready to expand because you're going to need that. And also, we have to continue investing in Orta as well. I mean, it's not in the neighborhood per se, but it is the region that has to thrive so we're putting an additional $105 million in new capital funding to make the enhancements uh, and, and all the different facilities to make sure that they're world class. Hochul says the state is investing in people and businesses to get back on their feet after the painful pandemic and the year-long dramatic rise of inflation. Nearly 86,000 North Country taxpayers will benefit from tax relief for residents, homeowners, and small businesses and a cut in the sales tax for gas. The governor says thousands of green jobs could be coming to the state with the approval of the Champlain Hudson Power Express, a multi-billion dollar hydroelectric project that will bring power from Quebec to New York City through a transmission line along the bottom of Lake Champlain. Work on that new power line will begin within a couple of years.